Hey there, I want to show you something like this. Listen. Background audio. <laughs> the guy laughing you. <laughs> oh, the phone is ringing. Okay. Bring like 3D Vista training. Yeah, it's, it's like really good stuff, you know. Self advertising here, built in. Woo, those people. Yeah. So, all of this is um, just, um, well, directional audio, and I think this is very underestimated. I barely see this being used in, in virtual tours, but I think it's a really nice feature. Um, so, as you can see, there's a lot of different audio sources, and one of them uh, is, like, this one is not directional, so this is just always playing. Uh, I can let you hear. So this is the ambience, it's always on, no matter where you look. And then for example this one, <laughs> will only play when you look at this area, the virtual tour. So let's uh, start building this from the beginning. Uh, as you can see, Panorama's audio, then we go to add audio file, and I have something like this ambience, it sounds like this. We open it and I can just play it as a loop well that's possible and directional I'm not going to do this for this one because an ambience should just be playing always just on the background very low key and as you can see and here basically <laughs> no matter where I look it just always plays so now we go to uh, audio file input other so this is the one that's uh, <laughs> making you laugh a lot. And then we say open. And then we uh, select that audio file here. And we click on directional. And now we can move this like that. And you cannot move it like this. Well, if you're lucky. <laughs> or if you just click on the icon here and then you hold it, then you can move it like this. So then you can place it exactly on that spot. And now we can preview it. So now we'll hear the ambience, which is just playing anywhere you look. And the second one is the, uh, the laughing. <laughs> so that's basically how you do it. So now you can basically go wild and add a lot of these audio files on different places. Um, Keep in mind, uh, there might be a little limitation in uh, when you're going to preview this or watch this on uh, iOS devices, because uh, as far as I know, uh, Apple does allow one audio source playing at the same time. So um, playing multiple audio files sources can be a nice thing um, for most devices, but keep in mind, compatibility-wise, it might get you into some of these issues. Um, that's basically it, what I wanted to say about it. Um, like this video if you've learned something and see you in the next video.